What's going on here? Where are we? Oh, look, we're on the wrong side of the screen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hey, look. Bunny rabbit. <laughs> Get off. Come on, let's go. And I'm Colin. Yes. And we've got five or six hours of vacation slides to show you. No, we don't, actually. We're here to tell you all about sourdough bread. We are? Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Did you know that the traditional sourdough baking process goes back to the California gold rush? You're reading this, aren't you? No, of course not. I, uh, I did some research. I made a few notes. So, my little encyclopedia, what exactly is sourdough? Well, it's a type of bread that doesn't use yeast as a leavening agent. These miners had agents? I don't think so. Look at them. Isn't it nice to see the guys helping with the dishes? Now, Colin, did you know to make sourdough bread, you need a chunk of what's called starter or mother dough? Wouldn't you need mother dough and father dough? No, just mother dough. These guys here used to carry a chunk of it with them in their bedroll to keep it warm. No, well, that's an image I'll carry with me from supper time. Well, we're not talking five-star restaurant here, we're talking grub. They would take the dough, put it on a stick, and cook it over the campfire. Isn't it true they used to strain their coffee grounds through a sock? I hope not. Oh, I love these guys. The Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the Bodine family. And this... It's Isidore Bodine. Bonjour. He's the one who perfected the sourdough starter. Tastes perfected to me. Yeah. By the way, did you know they are still using the same sourdough starter that Isidore mixed here 150 years ago? No, they can pull it Excuse me? There must have been an awful lot of it. <laughs> you see, you have to save a little bit of the starter dough to mix with the next day's batch of flour and water to keep the fermentation process going. Hey, did you know that the strain of bacteria found in mother dough is Lactobacillus San Francisco? How did you know that? Internet. Hey, can we watch him bake something? Oddly enough, that's what we're here for. Great. You keep on the lot ahead. I'm going to meet you in there. Colin, you stay here and make sure there are no stragglers, okay? Okay. All right. All right, just for kind of a bread line to my right. Good, good. They're on their way, Rosie. Okay, bye. Uh, I'll see you soon. Gather around the window right here and make sure you can find a spot where you can see me on one of the streets. Come on, Colin, they can find their way, okay? It's not the California Trail. We lost a couple of the coyotes along the way. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, well, what do you do? Yeah. This is the basement. That should be obvious to everyone. Ooh, Even look to what I found. What's that? Oh, one for you. Who's a little cutie? Is it a baby? Is you a the cutie? <laughs> okay, I'm ready to start baking. What do we do first? Okay. First you get a hunk of the mother dough and mix it with flour, add a little salt and water, and that's it. Voila, the entire list of ingredients. All right. Here's some dough. Mm -hmm. Let's bake it. Oh, not so fast. From start to finish, it takes bakers about 72 hours to make a loaf of sourdough bread. 72 hours? Yeah. Yeah, what's your hurry? What's your hurry? <laughs> Relax, and all the roses. Okay, so what's next? Well, you know, bakers actually think of dough as a living thing. So after it's been beaten up and kneaded by the mixer, it needs to sort of relax and calm down. Seems pretty relaxed to me. Yeah. In fact, almost catatonic. Right. I internalize all my tension. <laughs> well, what happens then? Well, then we drop it into that funnel over there, above the divider. The divider cuts it into nice, even pieces. So for this, it has to be relaxed? Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh -huh. Oh, what happens uh, when it goes down that conveyor belt? Well, it goes into the rounder. Do you know what the rounder does? Um, makes it into squares? No. Tetrahedrons? No. Polygons? Is that your final answer? Okay, so now the dough is round. Yes. Then? Then we have my favorite machine, the overhead intermediate proofer. Wow, it's like a little Disney ride for bread. Attention, please keep your little buttons in the vehicle at all times. <laughs> The device rolls the dough over and over from basket to basket, takes it on a little trip, letting it, once again, relax. This is the most laid-back bread on earth. Come on, Rose, you're teasing me. Can't we bake it? No, not yet. Next, the bakers lay the dough on screens and put the screens into oven racks. Then we bake it. Not yet. You'll have to go around the corner to the next window to find out more, okay? And uh, you go on ahead. 
I'll stay here and get the strappers. Can you stay with the nice lady? All right. All right. Everyone, follow me. Follow him, everybody. And you, you relax, okay? Okay. Come on. This window, all right. Everyone, can you see me? Yeah. Are you sure. All right. All right. Okay. Well, this I guess is the oven. If not, I'm having some incredible hot flashes. Slap some garlic butter on me, and I'm ready to go. Hey, Carla. Okay. Where were we? We were getting ready to bake some bread. No, we weren't. Were you trying to confuse me? Let me think. I remember the racks of dough. The racks of dough are taken upstairs to a refrigerated fermentation room. Refrigerated? Yes. Look, I know a thing or two about baking bread. Uh -huh. Well, actually I don't, but I'm pretty sure you have to have heat to bake something, right? Sounds right to me. For a technical question like that, I'm going to have to call in an expert. I'd like you to meet my friend, Tony the Baker. Tony! Hi! Hi. Are you enjoying your visit? Oh, we're having a great time. We really are. But I'm afraid I've reached my limit of baking knowledge. Tony, call him here. Give us the load now. Don't you think we've coddled this dough long enough? Isn't it time to turn up the heat on this baby? Well, no. The dough needs time to ferment in a refrigerated, climate-controlled room. Now that gives the bread a better flavor, texture, and color. It takes about 13 to 16 hours. You know, I like the man looking for Then what happens? In the proof box, the dough is slowly brought up to about 95 degrees, 90% humidity. Why not just take it to Florida? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's baking now, right? Because it's rising. No, it's still fermenting. The dough triples in size now due to the expansion of the trapped gases. Hey, listen, we all have trapped gas occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the bread is scored, so it won't split what is baked. Oh, so now I'm almost afraid to ask. It's time to bake it, right? Or do we have to take it out to dinner first? Maybe a bit of a rub down. It's ready to bake. You're kidding. I hear they spin the bread around when they're actually baking. Is that true? That's right. And a mist of steam is sprayed on it from time to time. This gives the crust a beautiful reddish golden color. Oh, so I'm thinking I probably couldn't do this at home in the toaster oven. No, I don't think so. Listen, tell me, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Well. Thank you. You were superb. I feel enlightened and rich. For me. <laughs> My pleasure. Bye. 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 You know what? I'm gonna spray you down because I think you could use some of that gold. Just a little. That's enough. Right there. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, a masterpiece of Baker Park. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? What? That's not yours. When he gave it to me, he was there. He didn't look at you. That was ours to share, Colin. No, it's mine. Well, not. One piece, please. One little piece. A tiny piece. I'm telling me. All right, all right, all right. Here. Yeah. See? Here, don't tell me. Get any money. Well, don't even ask. I don't want to get into that. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great time here. Bye. Go eat some cheer. 